Hello, this is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. Um, in this video, we are going to show you how to install an NVMe M.2 solid state drive into a system that does not have an NVMe M.2 slot on the system board. Um, so, we do have a few requirements before you can do this. Um, you obviously need to have an NVMe M.2 solid state drive. Um, you can pick them up, you know, New Egg, Tigers Direct, Amazon. They're all over the place, and in some cases, they're even cheaper than a regular solid state drive. Um, you will need an NVMe M.2 adapter. Um, it's a little PCI card. You'll see it further in the video. Uh, because your system does not have the NVMe slot on on it, you will need that adapter, and and, that, and then. Of course, you will need a slot open to install that adapter into, um, which will be a PCIe X4, X8, or X16 slot. Um, you will also need access to the proper NVMe uh, driver for your operating system. So, um, one thing I've run into in the past is buying like a, a used uh, NVMe drive um, on like eBay, super cheap, but then not being able to find the actual driver for it or poor driver support. So make sure if you do buy one used, make sure that you can still access the drivers on the manufacturer's website. Okay, so what we have here is we have the uh, an NVMe solid state drive 960 EVO Pro. Uh, we got a 500 gig here. Um, that would be on the right side here. I'm still in the packaging. And then we have our NVMe.2 adapter plus the very, very important screw. Um, so uh, this is what we will install inside of our, um, you know, PC workstation server, um, uh, whatever you plan to install it into. It is a full height card. The cards typically, or the adapters typically come with a low profile um, PCI bracket. So if you have a, you know, a, a small form factor system and it can support the depth on this card, uh, then you should still be in good shape. Um, so yeah, we want the uh, Samsung 960, a pretty good bang for your buck um, when it comes to that drive and pretty solid drive in general. Um, we picked the card up for about 200 bucks. So um, here I'm going to show you with one hand how to actually install that card um, into the adapter. It pops in just like a memory module um, and it clicks right in and the card will sit upright a little bit and then you just have to put that screw in and screw it in. So we're going to fast forward because it's hard to do that with one hand. So, so now that the card is locked into place and screwed in, you can see it fits just perfectly in that adapter. All right, so we are going to install this card into uh, what's called a Precision T5610 workstation. It's a pretty nice system, but it does not have a sl NVMe slot on board. Uh, but we want to take advantage of the throughput on that card. So um, so we'll get that card popped in. Um, be careful. You know, line up the slot. Look at the PCI bracket. And push it right in firmly. And it will click right into place. You can see that particular model card. You can pause right there if you want to see exactly which card we're using. So that's the card installed. Few other things we'll go through here quick. The the NVMe card, depending on your system and your system BIOS, is not always bootable. So uh, you may have a system that has an open PCI Express slot, um, but sometimes the BIOS and, and Windows will not allow you to, to make that a bootable de bootable device. If that's the case, it's still nice to install this card for as far as throughput goes but you will need to install another hard drive to boot to, like tip, preferably like another solid state drive. And then what you would do is you would put any of your bigger programs or, or big, big programs or any big files that you want to open, save them on the NVMe drive. Um, let's see here, we got a little bit more content too. Let me show you what this actually looks like. Um, once you install it into your system, you do have to install uh, a driver um, and you'll get that from the manufacturer's website and in this case 
we went to um, Samsung. Um, you can find the driver really quickly by just going to the product page, download it, install it based off your operating system, and you'll be in good shape. So um, once you installed and the driver's installed, you will have to go to, and this is Windows 10, so it's different for 7, but you'll have to go to Disk Management. Once you go to Disk Management, the drive will pop up automatically. Um, it'll most likely format. It'll allow you to name it. I named it even faster drive. Um, and once you do that, you're, you're ready to save stuff to it. So um, thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Um, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. Um, and also go to www.greenpcgamers.com for more content. Uh, we do... Uh, you can subscribe for free on there. Or we do giveaways. Um, if you want to support me, please follow me on Twitch, uh, JBigTicket23, um, Twitch TV. Um, thanks a lot for watching.